I'm so excited. <laughs> Sorry, we haven't seen a jackal in so long. Hello. Oh my god, this is wonderful. A sidestrack jackal. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> How was that for a surprise? It seems like it's been the surprise morning, just when we were, we were expecting it the least. It came running, trotting up on the road. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> that was sorry. I got I got very excited there. Um, so yes, I don't I don't know if there are any studies that have been done regarding if animals react better to particular types of voices. I would assume that as long as you're not shouting, that seems to to work the best for all of them because they are used to voices or human voices in general but uh, they're also used to them being on a certain decibel certain loud level of loudness if i can say it that way so as long as i don't start shouting or making more high-pitched noises than what i can normally do then they seem to be fine and to be quite relaxed i think you guys are very confused you need to go a bit more into the shade let's go okay they might go away, but maybe they'll relax. I just want to see if maybe we go slightly forward, then we'll be able to get a bit of a better look at them. Perhaps a jackal will come back again. Look at them! <laughs> Francis from Israel, you're wondering if the jackal would take a mongoose. Ah, there it is again in front of us, the jackal. Um, it could, it definitely could take a mongoose. Uh, I would have to get to it first, and I wonder if the mongoose are not all standing there just looking after themselves just in case. But this one also seems to be a young jackal. Are you young? Oh, it looks, it, it's almost got the typical puppy face. I think maybe I need to clean my binoculars a bit better. Oh, let's see. Hello, boy. Or girl. I'm sorry. Definitely looks like a pup to me. Or, well, not a pup, but a younger one. Oh, precious. Very happy. You see, very curious. So it just, it came running up the road, and then all of the birds were making a noise all around here. And I was like, well, maybe there's something. Uh, but I was thinking more of something like a snake. And then he came around, and then the birds started calling again, and that's where he came back onto the road, or it came back into the road. Oh, how stunning. How relaxed. chasing my white birds. We're happy to see the jackal. You see also this is one of the smaller creatures. Stevie, you're wondering if jackals are related to hyenas. Um, no, they're not related to hyenas. Hyenas are in their own separate family and they're pretty much only related to other hyenas. So jackals are more closely related to some canids, so to some dog species. Somebody's getting brave. I hear the squirrels in the descent. Oh, this is wonderful. So curious. Ashes, you're wondering what the difference between a jackal and a coyote is. Well, uh, we get them in different parts of the world, so the we don't get coyotes here. And as far as I know, coyotes are much bigger than a jackal. I think jackals are more the size of a fox, and as far as I understand, coyotes are, are a lot bigger. And I would say that I'm sure genetically they're also very different animals. But um, we don't get any coyotes here, we just get the jackals. And we get two species of jackals, the one that we were looking at, the side stripe, and then we get the black back, and the black back has got a very dark black part of it. It's not too far from the... oh uh, no, it ran away. There it goes, moving away in between the bushes. I wonder if it was actually not after some of this mongoose and then got a bit distracted. 